If you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, how do I play Bonelab multiplayer on my Quest 2 or Quest 3? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna be covering that in today's video. Also, by the way, this isn't some crazy bullshit hey! that I made up, so this actually works. Anyways, here's the stuff you will need to make this possible. So what you're gonna need is a laptop or a computer. It doesn't even have to be a good one. And you also need a patch copy of Bonab, which I'm not gonna be showing how to do in this video because I already did in my last video. You can go ahead and click and watch that and it will tell you how to do all of that. Also, one more big thing before we jump into all of this. I have a Discord server, so if you need to ask any questions or you need any help with any Bone Lab related stuff, then come join the server and we'll help you. Anyways, enough with all that. Let's get into the main video. Okay, so first we're going to want to head to Thunderstore. io slash c slash bone lab once you're there in thunderstore slash bone lab you will need to download a few code mods for fusion to actually like work so start with fusion Let's see there's a new version there is no th thing that says quest version just download the latest version and it should work once that's done you're going to want to download the most recent version of bone lib i don't think bone lib is required for fusion anymore but just in case install it to your game but the newest version should be 3.0.0 once that's done you're going to want to go to Ragdoll Player. So the recent version of Ragdoll Player should be 1.3.0. Go ahead and download that. And next, you want to go to mod.io for Fusion Cosmetics. Once you're in mod.io, you're gonna search up Fusion. And if I'm positive, you need both of these right here. Go ahead and manually install them. And once you've finally downloaded all your code mods and Fusion content, you're going to want to go ahead and move the Fusion content into the regular data folder for Bone Lab. That's one thing I forgot to mention in my last video. You put regular mods like maps, guns, NPCs in the regular mods folder on the Bone Lab data. And you put code mods in the Melon Loader folder, which I will show that in a second. And once you're done putting Fusion content into Bone Lab, you're going to want to put the Fusion code mods into Melon Loader, which should be right near your downloads. See, it was it's a whole separate folder for code mods. And you're going to want to put Bone Lib, Ragdoll Player, and Fusion into there. Find the mod that you need. You can just extract the mods folder for any, any code mod and it will automatically put it in its place. Which is really helpful. And the newest version should be 1.9.1. Make sure you got that. Plugins, mods, and last but not least, Ragdoll Player. Launch your game and 
see what happens. So I just load it up into Bow Lab, and you'll know you did it right if the fusion machines are here, machines you haven't seen before, all this new stuff. Go into your bone menu, find fusion, and it will show you all this. I will show you how to do this. Let's go to my laptop. You're going to need Steam to log in, so I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to want to go into browser, search up Steam, download, and the very first one or second, just click on that. For me, I already have Steam installed, but to show you guys how to do it, press install. You press save wherever you want to save it. You go into your setup. Press next. Choose your language. You can put it, set it to any destination folder. Press install. And then Steam should be installing. It will tell you Steam has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close setup. Press finish and run Steam. It will show that it's updating. And once it's ready, it will launch and you can go ahead and create an account. Don't worry, it's all free. I'm not going to be logging in, but I'm going to be showing an, ex an example of what it should look like when you first get in. You're going to create a free account over here and once you get your account set up and you're all logged in, you're good to go with Steam. And now you need Fusion Helper. Now we're going to get Fusion Helper. I am in the Bonelab Fusion Discord, so I can easily get it in the Fusion announcements, but I will link the thing in the description for y'all. It only seems like it's available for Windows right now. So it will say it's a virus, but what you want to do is just go ahead and turn off your Windows security. Don't mind that. Fusion Helper is not a virus at all. This is made by a solo dev. And once that is done, it should be in a zip. What you will want to open is Fusion Helper. Make sure Steam is on and running in the computer so you can get connected. Let me go ahead and do that right now. Once you have Steam running in your background, you're going to want to open up Fusion Helper. We'll say Windows protected your PC, but remember this is not a virus at all. Press on more. Run anyway. Also, allow it to allow public and private networks to access the SAP Windows Firewall. Press allow. And basically this will show if your request is connected to your computer or not. So let's get back on our quest and we'll see. As you can see, it says Quest Connected, and it worked. Let me show you what this looks like in-game. You just have to press Login on Fusion in-game so you can get connected. This is what it will show when you're logged in. It will show your profile. You can add anything, your nickname, description, anything. You can browse servers as you see servers work and you can join servers that are public there's your notifications there's your profile this is where you create your server settings just 
some basic stuff. Global volume, input device, doesn't matter. Name tags, show name with prefix, downloading. This one's especially useful if you um, want to keep away from NSFW mods. So I recommend turning that off, but it's already off, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm guessing that's the new mute button instead of being on the quick menu. Which, I don't know how to feel about that. I think it's alright, but right now I will show you an example. I'm going to get my friend Lofted on. I'm going to show you guys an example how to create a lobby and how to join lobbies right now. So what you're going to want to do, you can create a server name, all that. Uh, I'm going to name mine Burger. Just for an example in a... Uh, Lofted, go ahead and uh, try joining. I created a server. Or while I'm loading into Void. That's how you're going to create lobbies on Fusion. And I'm going to join my friend Lofted because it didn't work for me. He couldn't join me. <laughs> also, uh... There you are. Oh, oh my god, the, the thing... Oh shit. I was going in the distance. Oh. Voice chat works in, uh, uh, you know... It, it's fucking mouth opens. Yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you? Okay, let me knock you out. No. Uh, what the? F oh shit. There you go. You're knocked out. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 knock me out. Yeah, yeah. Let me try it on you. Uh, uh, uh. Give me one sec. <laughs> oh. Fucking. Uh. Gotta do more than that, bud. <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, it does work. It's really hard. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Did you actually die? It's so dark. <laughs> I'm not dead. Yeah, there's no death. Anyways, I hope you guys found that tutorial useful in any way. Eventually, if there's a new update, I'll probably make another tutorial on it. Or maybe for something else. But for now, I'm gonna rest. Also, thank you for watching. Hopefully, I'll reach 500 after I release this video, but anyways, have a good night, have a good day, wherever you are, and peace out.